Hey everyone, it's me, Vanessa. I'm making a weekly update and later on I'm going to be sharing something that was very important today and that needs to be talked about because it is a huge topic that I find that I struggle with multiple times during the year. Um, it almost seems like every few months I will have this problem and then I will need to step back, reevaluate, change things, and then another three months will go by and then I will have this problem again. So stay tuned for that in a moment. But as far as my way in, everything is going kind of okay. Um, I did finish the first phase of nine week control freak and I will share my results now so far. So in three weeks, um, we're looking at the changes uh, per phase. So it's gonna be three weeks for phase one, three weeks for phase two, and three weeks for phase three. And so I just completed phase one um, and starting phase two today. Now I weighed in at 154.1 pounds, which is very high. And I will discuss that more um, when I go through uh, my topic of the day um, of this video. But I'm sitting at 35.9% body fat right now. So if I look at the very first week of this program, I was sitting at, it was 151.3 pounds and I was at 36.8% body fat. So I'm up 2.8 for the first three weeks, but I'm down almost 1% of body fat. So how do I take this? I don't know, I'm gonna continue through. Um, I am up in weight, but I don't feel like I'm up in weight. I have to take into account, I am still taking creatine um, and I'm more hydrated because a big goal of mine was to drink water um, at least 25 to 50 ounces a day and I have done that uh, for the past two weeks. So I'm doing better with my liquids. I'm taking, like I said, creatine. I'm exercising with weights. So I'm making changes where that could be the increase um, plus the fact that I'm losing body fat. So that is why I wanted to get the scale that I got because I want to look at overall changes in my body. And if I'm down in body fat, then that's a good sign. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. Um, and I'm going to focus this week, like I said in my post earlier online, I'm going to focus on diet. Um, so I guess now I can go through the actual uh, topic for this video. Um, so <laughs> last week, I started getting into habits of snacking again at night. And what I mean by that is not if I'm hungry, I'll have popcorn or I will have some oats or I'll have something that's filling and healthy. No, I was eating those Christmas tree, little Debbie things. I was having plantain chips. I was doing like cookies, crackers. I was doing all of these different things that are not filling and don't have the high fiber, high nutrition content. It's more high dense calorie. Um, and so I was eating a good example of this was one night I had a tree, which is the little Debbie tree. I had a thing of plantain chips and then I had um, a little box of the uh, frosted mini wheats. All three of those things I had within two hours in, in time frame. So I would eat something 30 or 40 minutes later, I would eat something else. 30 minutes, 40 minutes later, I would eat another thing. And so with all that food, it was 720 calories. Now, if I would have had maybe a bowl of oatmeal and some fruit, that would have taken me up to maybe 300 calories max, and I would be full and satisfied for the rest of the night. Same if I were to have popcorn, I have the 100 calorie packs of popcorn. If I have one thing of popcorn, that's 100 calories. So I was making not the best choices on what I was eating and I wanted a snack. So my goal this week is to focus really on my nighttime eating. Breakfast all the way until dinner, I do really well. Make sure everything is balanced. I do add vegetables to my meals so that bulks them up and makes them more filling. Um, so during the day, I have no problem. I'm not snacking during the day. It's at night when I have that time just to chill and relax um, I start wanting to grab food and snack on things. And I don't snack on the healthy stuff, I snack on the junk food. 
And so my goal is really to focus on that and be more mindful. Um, the weekends also have been a little out of control. I've been eating more than I should. Um, and I need to really focus on that and be more mindful with my eating in general. Um, why do I need to eat every hour or every two hours when my body really doesn't need it? I just want to eat to eat. I'm not hungry. I just want to eat. And so I need to really focus on that this week. And this is the situation that I have a problem with every few months. Um, I will do really well for like three months and then, or even four months, I'll do really well, um, have controlled eating, uh, maintain my weight. And then for some reason, I kind of veer off into snacking and not making the best choices. And then I have to just get right back to basics and focus on my diet and my snacking. And so I just wanted to share that because this is something that I will struggle with and I know I'll struggle with for the rest of my life. Um, but being aware of it and making changes as I need them, uh, that is what has helped me become successful with keeping the weight off. And the reason why is because I watch my weight. So when I get up to 154 or 153, I'm like, oh no, no, <laughs> I need to calm down. And so that's exactly what I'm doing now. I'm noticing that my weight is getting really close to 155. And 160 is like my oh heck no zone. And so anytime that I get up to 155, that's when I start weight loss. I don't wait to 160. At 155 or even 154, I really focus on, okay, I'm getting up there. Let me dial in and really watch what I'm eating and focus on everything that I'm eating. So that way that I control that amount, lower it again, get back at a deficit, lose the weight, and then get right back to maintenance. And so that five pound thing has really helped me to maintain my weight because I don't, there's no excuses, no giving in or anything like that. I focus on, this is a priority. This is what I need to take care of now. I don't allow it to become more than five pounds because five pounds takes a while to lose. And so if I let it become 10 or 20 or even 60 pounds, then I will later on have to work extra hard to get it off. And so I look at if I work really hard for a few months to get that off, not allow it to get up to a certain point, then it's just easier for me to maintain. And it's become such a natural part of my life in a lifestyle that I don't even think about it. It's not like it's that hard to do. And so that is my focus this week. Want to get back towards 150 um, and I will, I'll do it. But I'm going to keep my eye on the body fat because the fact that I'm lower in body fat and I'm getting closer to 35% that I'm happy about um, because that's my first step is to get under 35. And then when I get under 35, I will work on getting under 34 and so on and so on until I get to about 30%. And then I will focus from there after 30% if I want to get up down to 25% or not. Um, and I will just see. I'll see how I feel. Um, right now, I feel great. Um, and I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm not devastated about this weight gain, that I'm using it as a tool. That's all weight is, is just a tool to let you know exactly where you're at. And I know that I just need to control my eating again um, because it just got out of control. And it happens. It happens to the best of us. Um, you are not alone. If you if you struggle with eating or um, even just losing control of certain things, I I know what it's like. I definitely do. So that is my focus. Um, water. I'm doing so much better with water. Um, this past week, I was getting in 50 ounces for the first three days, and then at the end of the week, I was getting about 25 ounces. So my goal this week is to continue with 50 ounces, but throughout the whole week. And I'm finishing right now one bottle and it's already two. So the struggle is real. So my goal is to, during my workout that I'm getting in right now, I'm gonna finish this half and then one more for the rest of the day. So 50 ounces, that is my goal. And yeah, so I will keep you all posted on how, how everything goes uh, for the next three weeks. Uh, for phase two, I'm excited. I do have my tracker to the wall. Uh, before I had that on a door, now I have it connected to the wall. So I'm excited about that because 
that door is not the strongest door and the most sturdy door. So I'm glad that I have it on a wall mounted. And so I'll be using that and I'll let you guys know at, by the end of this program, how everything goes. Um, I had a lot of fun. Week three was a lot of fun of this program. Um, it is uh, nine week control freak. So I will have the sample workout in the description box below. So you can check that out if you want. Um, it's interesting. It's different. Uh, the first two weeks were kind of challenging. Third week was very challenging, but it was a lot of fun. I, it was, the movements were constantly changing. Uh, the time went by quickly. It's only a 30 minute, um, and there's 20 minutes for the Tabata workout, but it's only between 20 to 30 minutes long. Time goes by really quick. Um, and the workouts were fun. It was, it was legit fun. So I'm excited to see what phase two brings. Uh, I did bump up in weights and also I increased the resistance to the bands um, starting today. So I'll keep you posted on how that goes. But yeah, so I just wanted to share uh, the struggle is real with diet. Diet is 100% of this journey. I've noticed um, if the diet is not on track and you're still working out, you're not going to get the exact results you want. Um, so you got to dial in the nutrition for sure. It's very important. Um, but yeah, so I'll keep you guys posted how everything goes and I will see you next Monday. Bye for now.